Ingham Conservation District had contacted us to see if we were interested in painting 24 rain barrels that would be distributed to community gardens in the area. And our teens were really excited because this way they could each take on their own uh, barrel and create their own artwork. So it's really cool that each one was done by like one kid and they're really proud and took ownership over their barrels. So this one's probably going to be just space in itself, like a galaxy. Uh, well, it's rain barrel, so it just kind of made me think of water and uh, water. So I thought it'd be cool to do it like a fish tank almost. It's kind of tricky for me because this is my first time in reach, so it's my first time painting or spray painting or anything. But I worked on this with my friend who has been in reach before, so she kind of helped me out figuring out how stuff works and how to do it all. I think it's really important to not only like think about others in your community or how like, you can help your community by like doing simple things like painting a barrel or like whatever else, but like to get in touch with the community whether you plan on staying in it or not because it's still like a place you are in and still a part of what you are and who you are. So for this barrel, I didn't know what I was going to do, but then I figured my brother loves dragons and so I'm going to do kind of on the forest scene, I'm going to kind of do a dragon flying through it and then I have more of my water scene right here to where I'm going to do some mermaids on it because I love mermaids. This is the uh, base coat for what will be a Geiger inspired Cthulhu with a bunch of mechanical tentacles coming out of his face. It's just the base of the skin color. At first, I was having a lot of trouble just trying to paint this thing and keep it all in line and in shape. That was because of other people that helped me during this. There are a lot of uh, antisocial teenagers out there who really need somebody in their life and probably meet some of them there at REACH. It was originally going to be like, it was originally going to have some political art on it, but then like my friend Kelsey made this Adventure Time one, and so I was like, I definitely want to do something like that. So I thought about my most favorite character on that show, and so I made Gunter the Penguin, and he has little arms and feet and his little penguin face. Um, being a part of Reach, I didn't really know Reach was a thing for a long while until Jasper told me about it. and. Um, he only thought I'd be interested in it because of my work in photography, but money-wise, I couldn't do like both portfolio and community days. So I chose community days because I'd rather help my community and express my art at the same time. Um, I feel like most things that people do, as in like community work, people don't think will affect like as much as people would hope. Like it changed the world or something. But I do think it'll it'll help 